So after years of DJing for fun, medical doctor Dr. Antoine Fraser is gearing up to make his official debut under the stage name Antoine Adal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sir, good morning. Doc, I should say, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Antoine Adal is a name that was coined from your high school days. Tell me a little bit yes. about how you got it. All right, so if you know me as a person, you can ask my friends that are always joking and always running jokes and gimmicks. So in high school, I jokingly gave my name Antoine Adal because, you know, the, the medication Panadol. And the joke was that Antoine Adal was the girl in medicine. But then everybody <laughs> just ran with it up over the years. And that was just the name I was just running with. So it's my Instagram handle. Like when I go to parties and dancing, them said Antoine Adal and stuff like that. So I just keep that name. So, so everybody so knows. Here I was thinking that they were calling it Antoine Adal because then you're become a, going to become a doctor, but not really. You you were the you were <laughs> the girl in medicine. Well, I, you know also, we don't we don't have to we don't have to get into it. It's six forty. Let's not go into the girl in medicine, Monica. Uh, maybe a little too early, but. Obviously, it was, it was, there was foresight there because you ultimately, I mean, you're dispensing Panadol and everything else as a medical doctor. Where did the music part come from now? Because you, I mean, you're always running jokes, but then you also had a knack for building tune. All right, so the music aspect of things. So really and truly, I, I never yet identified as an artist, right? I, I knew I could rhyme when I always used to rhyme from high school you know, make idle songs and stuff like that, but it was never an uh, intention of mine to become an artist. But over the years, like, I would just be there, I'd hear instrumental that I like, and I just would DJ to it. And then I'm always around um, artists, individuals, like my friends are, are always artists. From high school, I used to have a good friend named Pencil Lunatic, I don't know if you know him, Brandon Bailey, that used to be an artist as well, and then he became a model. Mm -hmm. And then my different artists like, for example, Coyote, he's my good friend that sings when I'm so I'm going, I always affiliated with the music um, scene. So I always had that liking for the music. And then I would always do my, my songs like Loki, and nobody would really, you know, know beside my close, close friends. Nobody knew that and, alter ego, because they just knew you as dark, right? So, which yes. brings me to ask you, like, how you reconcile those two parts of yourself? Because we hear about Dr. Fraser, and we think of this, you know, we see in your white coat, and we have this image of the stethoscope on your neck, and you're serious, and you're saying, well, you know, ma'am, or you know, sir. Um, and then we think mm -hmm. of Antoine Adal, and it's this completely different person. So, it's a little bit of schizophrenia, mm -hmm. but, but in a good way. <laughs> yes. So, repeat what you asked. No, I'm initially. saying it's a little bit of schizophrenia in a good way because it's showing the different sides of yourself. I'm asking you how you kind of reconcile them. Or you carried some of that joviality into, the, into, your, into your medical practice. Well, to be honest, you see, when I'm at work, people would not really know okay. what an individual because I always conduct a certain level of professionalism. Mm -hmm. So... And nobody would really know either at work, even staff. I think I'm very quiet. When I used to work at the hospital, I used to think I'm very quiet. They don't know that I'm this jovial. A matter of fact, a lot of people don't, don't even know how to DJ. Oh, they know I now. <laughs> yeah. I think my father knew. Well, hi, Dad. Um, Dad knows no. <laughs> Doctor, uh, you know, you can still kind of bring the, the jovial nature into, you know, your, your, your practice. I think of Michael Abrams when I think about that. He's crazy. Like, you go to him as a doctor and you come out in place with water running down your face from laughing. But you are now deciding that you are putting out this tune. The song is called Lava. Um, it's yes. a song that speaks to your... It harkens to your, your days as a high school person of being the medicine for the young ladies. Um, <laughs> and so it's, it's a song of that nature. You did it and you kind of park it and then people were hearing it and was like, no, this tune I forgot release. And then you, yes. you had it played by a DJ at a particular venue and the response made you say, okay, I'm releasing this. Talk to me about that. All right, so the inception of Lava, so it came from the, the idea of me just hearing an instrumental and DJing to it. And then 
I did my thing on it and I recorded it. And I, I made a few of my friends heard it, they love it. And they were like, I got a different reception than usual for my songs. And then I seek it to a wider audience. You know, I like to feel out people, see what they think, different areas, people within music, people who don't really mess with dance, people who don't, you know, just different type of listening ears. And then I realized that everybody said you need to release this song. And then when I sent the guy, the DJ, DJ Courtney, big up DJ Courtney, right, the song, he was appalled because you never know. I stay like this because I always talking about my artist friend helping out Coyote, Monster Dan. And then he said he's going to feature it at Jangas. And then from then, more and more people liking it within the industry as well. And outside the industry, I was like, boy, I might have to take this song serious because <laughs> I never release it at all, at all. And then a few people saying, yo, release it. Do a music video as well because you have nothing to lose. So I was like, boy, this is not me, no. It's not me. But I went ahead, purchased a license for the, the instrumental, and then just followed through with the process. And then as I did that, more and more popularity gained towards the song, more and more people liking it. I was just like, okay, nothing to lose. I mean, it's been a passion for years. Just, I went for it. So you, you shot the video already? Yes, the video is shot. It's being edited at the moment. Okay, and your Vivo is in the process of being approved. You set up your platforms to distribute on Apple, um, Spotify. Actually, actually no, Vivo is approved from last week. Okay. So people can start subscribing from now. So, so look here now, Doc. Where are you headed with this? I mean, this is our one yeah. song, but it, it, I mean, that's usually how it starts, you know. When you've been bitten by that bug, sometimes there's no turning back. True. That's why, well, I set it up properly in the sense that if you're releasing something, might as well be properly, you understand? Right, right. People are level of professionalism so people can take the song serious. And just generally, so there is no hiccup with the release. Right, but also you're setting things up properly because you may mm. decide that there's another song you want to take seriously. Yes. And another one, and another one. And then Antoine yes. Adal becomes a big thing, and Dr. Fraser is... <laughs> is it possible? Well, the thing is that I don't mind. I always making songs, you know. It's just that people don't know. Mm -hmm. And then I wouldn't mind putting out more content because it's, it's, it's fairly easy for me to come up with songs and unique concepts and stuff like that, so... Why not? I guess what I I'm asking you is, do you see yourself leaving medicine if this becomes a viable option for you? I would never leave medicine. Okay. That's my passion. Okay. Uh, okay. However, I would, I would definitely take up the artist's career as a side job. Sure. It's okay, so if the demand is there, right? Um, to balance the two, the future will tell how I will do that, but I actually want to specialize in my field, so I'm not leaving medicine. But I really like the artist thing in terms of making music. Yeah. Well, one thing I always tell people is that we are no one thing. We are several things. And if you can find a way to do both, then kudos to you, Dr. Fraser. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. His artist name is Antoine Adal. You can check him out on Instagram. It's Antoine, A-N-T-O-I-N-E, O-D-O-L. -E -D -O -D um, you can see what's happening with him there. And then when the video, when is the video being released? Um, I have not finalized the date yet because I'm waiting on the camera guy for the edits, but it should be early May. Okay. All right. Should be Just early May. Just in time for the summer, May, June, July. Yeah. Yes. You want the truth. I think Sunday, Sunday, I'm going to have the date finalized and I'm going to post on, on social Instagram. media. Okay, sir. Sunday. All yes. right, Dr. Fraser, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, and all the best. And thank you for hosting me. Yes, man, thank no you. problem. Antoine Adal, folks, with us this yes. morning, um, otherwise known as Dr. Antoine Fraser. After the break, we catch.